What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from Six Flags over Texas. It's been a couple years since we've been here. Today we're going to be doing a full tour and review of their major attractions for 2020. You can see right over here on the sign, they're open year round. So weekends and select holidays in January and February. 36 rides are open today. A couple things are closed as we can see right there. Batman the Ride, Joker, Judge Roy Scream, and of course all the water rides. Train and Cloud Bouncer. We're gonna have a lot of fun though. There's a lot to see and do. Let's go! No way to get through security and what's really cool, well they've kind of adopted the universal method where they have metal detectors but they scan them as in like airport security. So you put your bags through the little machine and you're on your way. Here's the front entrance. Not busy at all. It's gonna be a great day. Even the parking lot only had like 50 cars. Last time I was here I had to buy a specialty pass just so I could ride all the rides. Today, I don't think we're gonna have an issue. Ta-da, we are in. And they're doing a staggered opening, so they're holding people over there and holding people over here. We're gonna head this direction because they have Titan, New Texas Giant, and a whole bunch of other rides that I wanna do this way. It's the running of the bulls. So park just opened, and we're on our way to the first attractions. So the first ride that we're gonna be doing is the bobsled style ride, La Vibora. And uh, yeah, it gets really long waits. That's why we're doing this one first. So here's a closer look at the ride vehicles. Again, looks like a bobsled, acts like a bobsled too. So we just did our first ride of the day, La Vibora. I like it. It's actually a lot of fun. Only thing is right off the drop, there's kind of a, an interesting transition. But I had a ton of fun. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that one probably an 8 to an 8.5. Uh, the group that I was riding with had never done it before. They enjoyed it. So I highly suggest that the little kid was having a blast. Feels like you're literally on a bobsled. Um, it's a bobsled coaster, so should but uh, now we're on our way to the next one. New Texas Giant. RMC coaster, gonna be a ton of fun. I know the park's only been open for about maybe 15 minutes or so, but this is not what I'm used to. Again, last time I was here, I had to pay a hundred and something dollars for a flash pass. And today, walking on all the rides. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, New Texas Giant. Ta-da, we're in. So, uh, we're gonna do this. Again, Rocky Mountain construction ride. This is the OG. Cannot wait to do this. And here we are. Just about up in the station. Yeah. Welcome back, riders. We yeah, hope you enjoyed your ride. Really I'm busy here today. So we just did New Texas Giant. I like it a lot. It's amazing. Good airtime. Speed, however, today was a little bit slow. Um, maybe it's cold, you know. Maybe it's because it's uh, just the first couple rides of the day. But it wasn't running like it was a couple years ago. Uh, 
I expected more, especially after going to Iron Rattler Six Flags Fiesta Texas yesterday and getting ejector airtime. But we know RMC, those fantastic rides. New Texas Giant is one of them. So if you're here, check it out. I'll try it a little bit later and see if it actually speeds up. Scale of one to 10, normally I would give this probably a nine. Today it was running a little slow, probably about maybe an eight and a half or so. We'll be back later though. All right, so we just did New Texas Giant and normally I would be heading over to Titan, but Titan's been stuck on the lift for, oh, about an hour and a half or so. That would be that direction. We're gonna head elsewhere though. Yee-haw, it's a rodeo. We can see some buck and bulls right there. Again, I am loving these crowds today. Check it out, we have the oil derrick right there. I've never been up there. Let's go do it. And good news for us, it is open. Let's do it. All right, well, we're going up. Open Sesame. What an awesome view. Next up for us is going to be the Schwarzkopf Classic Shockwave. So yeah, this ride's a lot of fun, has some good airtime hills, a couple inversions. That's up next. So we just did Shockwave. Love that attraction. That is back when coasters were in their prime for pulling G-forces per se. I love the non-teardrop loops, the ones that are like the perfect circles. Tons of Gs on those. Good pops of air, good speed. Maybe an old ride, but it still is amazing. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that one a nine and a half, if not a 10. One of the better attractions here. Come do it, I promise you. You will not be disappointed. And if you do like go-karts, well, you're in luck. We have Six Flags Speedway. Here we have one of the park's water rides that are closed today, Roaring Rapids. 
it's a raft ride. You get soaked. Thankfully, it's not open today. Too cold for it. Another kind of a kitty attraction here. Cotto Lake Barge, as we can see. It's a rockin' tug. Just goes back and forth and spins. Goes one direction and then changes and goes another direction. Superman, Tower of Power, as we can see right here. It's an s, &S tower, launches you up, and you bounce around a bit, and then once you're at the top again, then you drop. Here we have an upcharge attraction, Dive Bomber Alley, which is their sky coaster. So if you want to do it, you can try it out. 20 bucks. Two coasters side by side here. We have the mini mine train, and then we have the regular mine train. We're gonna go do this one. Here we are, we're in the station. Not that of a wait. All right, so we just did the mine train. It's okay. Kids are gonna love it. Older adults are probably not gonna like it as much as it jostles you around. Transitions are a little rough. It's a fun ride. I give it maybe a six and a half to a seven though. But we're on our way to the next attraction now. And our chariot has arrived. So again, kitty coaster per se. The trains themselves kind of remind me of Phantom and Kennywood. Let's do it. Well, Mini Mine Train is done, and I didn't think I was going to be doing a review on it, but I actually liked it better than the Runaway Mine Train. Uh, smoother, had a really awesome pop of airtime. Yeah, I liked it better, so I would actually give it maybe a 7. I know it's a kitty coaster, but it's a fun one. Gunslinger, which is the park's swing attraction, one of them at least. This one is uh, meant for ones that don't like going 400 feet in the air like on that one. Well, this is good to see. Judge Roy Scream was listed as closed. But it appears that it's open. And I also know that it's had some recent track work. So hopefully it'll be a little bit smoother since the last time I rode it. And it's so weird. This attraction is on the other side of the road. So it's kind of secluded. Should be right on. Alright, so just did Judge Roy scream. It's an old Woody, so expect it's gonna be a little bit rough. But in the places where the park did do some retracking of it, very nice. Um, still not the smoothest thing. Good ride, kids are gonna love it. Older adults, if you know how to ride it, as in not have your back up against the uh, seat, it'll be tolerable. Um, I'd give it maybe a seven or so. I don't know. Good ride. Good classic wooden coaster, and I'm glad it's here. We're on to the next. <laughs> Texas Sky Screamer, the second tallest star flyer in the world, only bested by the one in Orlando. But unfortunately, not in operation right now. We saw it got stuck at the top. Crews are working on it. Maybe we'll ride later. The Riddler Revenge, and we can see right here, it's a pendulum style ride, just like what you can find at some of the other Six Flags parks. With pandemonium and the likes. Over here we have the Joker, but it's not in operation right now. And then over here, Catwoman Whip. So we've seen this style of ride at several other Six Flags. It's an s, &S Sansai ride, manufactured though by Rocky Mountain Construction, 40 free fly. The seats spin as you're going through the course. As you can see right here, here's one of the test seats. Unfortunately, not open.
Then we have this new attraction, which opened up last year. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, and that looks like a whole lot of nope to me. I don't know. I know this is one of the only ones in the United States, if not the only one, but uh, no thank you. Which is a spinning attraction. Smaller kids are gonna like it. Well, I'm here for, uh, let's see, Batman. Next major roller coaster is gonna be Batman the Ride. You can find these all over Six Flags. There's tons of them. This one now, it's a good one if I remember. And here we are in the station. Again, super busy here today. Yep. Chariot has arrived. We just did Batman the ride. Great, great ride. Tons of G's, good speed. Scale of one to ten, probably give it an eight and a half to a nine. But there is one thing I want to note, and this has got me a little bit heated to be honest. So they're enforcing probably the dumbest rule I have ever heard of. So the empty station is up there, right? Only the first three rows are being loaded. So I go to back row, and because I'm by myself. They say, I cannot ride back row because it is, quote, a safety issue. On a B&M with over-the-shoulder harnesses and no other Six Flags, in my knowledge, is enforcing this policy, there's not even signs anywhere in the queue stating that. The employees say that it's in a handbook, but how are the guests supposed to know that? So, shame on Six Flags for that one, guys. That is one of the worst policies I've ever heard of in my life. Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. Premier Rides. You can see it right there going. Good launch, good speed. Let's go do it. And as we can see here, one train is in operation. The other one is down for maintenance. That's okay. Hopefully the line is not too bad. So here we are in the station. We'll be up next. This train is about to dispatch. It'll slide over like it is right now. And then in just a second, launch. So we just did Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. Amazing roller coaster. I love this Premier Ride style coaster. 
And I love it that you launch backwards. Originally when it was open, it just launched forwards and then you went through it in reverse. This time you start out going backwards and then halfway through the ride, you go up the spike and then you do everything forwards. Tons of speed, good G-forces. This ride has some teeth. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a nine and a half, if not a 10. It's probably one of the better coasters here at Over Texas. Try it out. Next up is gonna be Pandemonium, the spinning roller coaster. Face each other. Let's go do it. Pandemonium, and that is an awesome spinning coaster. We were perfectly counterbalanced, so it was like this. It was like a top. Uh, Good speed, good G-forces. Spinning was phenomenal, at least on this ride. Sometimes you get unlucky and you just kind of, you know, coast through it and whatnot. But scale of one to 10, at least for that ride this time, that was an eight and a half, if not a nine. Good one, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna get a chance to ride Titan. I did see it testing, so we're gonna head over there now. Fingers crossed we'll get on it. Justice League, Battle for Metropolis. We have these at a couple different Six Flags parks, like Magic Mountain and over Georgia. And they have one here. So it's a shooting dark ride from Sally. You can earn points and stuff like that. Bugs Bunny Boomtown. So if you have little kiddos, well, you're in luck. They have a whole play area and rides for them. Runaway Mountain, which is an indoor roller coaster inside here. Let's go give it a go. And here we go. Into the mountain. And here we are in the station. All right, so we just did Runaway Mountain Indoor Roller Coaster. Not bad, actually. So pitch black or pretty dark in there, but it's got some pretty intense turns. G-forces are good. It's relatively smooth. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it maybe an eight to an eight and a half. Uh, kids are gonna love it though. But we're on our way to finally get Titan. I know we said we were heading over there next, but uh, this was on the way. It wasn't open earlier, it's open now. But now we're heading to Titan. Titan, we finally made it over here. Roller coaster made by Giovanola. Looks just like Goliath. Six Flags Magic Mountain just has the extra helix right there. I'm excited for it though. And here we are. There's the station. We turn around towards the left. So here we are in the station, as you can see, super busy. And what do you know? Back row. Let's see if I can ride this by myself or not. All right, so Titan is all done. Love that ride. Tons of G-forces, good speed, good height to it as well. Again, a massive drop on that one. And we rode back row by ourselves. Hmm, interesting considering Batman won't let you do it over there, but Titan, which has extreme airtime, will. I don't know. Scale of 1 to 10, that one's easily a 9.5, if not a 10. Good attraction here. I'm gonna go right again. Back row, by myself.
Well guys, that's gonna do it for our tour and review of Six Flags Over Texas for the 2020 season. I had an absolute blast today, got tons of rides. I really did enjoy myself, staff were pretty good. Uh, the only thing I can say is that policy that they have in regards to no single riders, no Zen rides, and you have to have two riders behind you if you're a single, is one of the dumbest policies I've ever heard of. Again, no other Six Flags Park in the chain has this rule, but over Texas does apparently. But yeah, enough of that. Food was good. I do enjoy my time here at this place, and I do hope to be back in the future for Force Aquaman. We're gonna have more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem, and I'll see you out on the Midway.